James chapter 3, verses 9 through 18. Good words, bad words. Therewith bless we God, even the Father, and therewith curse we men, which are made after the similitude of God. Out of the same mouth proceedeth blessing and cursing. My brethren, these things ought not so to be. Doth a fountain send forth at the same place sweet water and bitter? Can the fig tree, my brethren, bear olive berries, either a vine figs? So can no fountain both yield salt water and fresh. Who is a wise man and endued with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But if ye have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion in every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. How do verses 9-10 through 10 apply to a minister or teacher? Be careful about pronouncing condemnation on people or being judgmental. It's better to focus on encouraging all to praise God rather than focus on people's shortcomings. If we're blessed with wisdom and knowledge, let our words reflect that in a meek way, not a self-righteous way. How do verses 11 and 12 apply to a potential prophet? They reinforce the concept that if someone is a prophet of God, all of his messages will be accurate. The same channel cannot bring forth both true and false messages. So if any messages from a potential prophet are proven false, all of his messages are suspect. How do verses 9 through 12 apply to everyone? Someone who on the one hand speaks of the Lord and then curses and swears and speaks ill of others on other occasions presents a conflicting and even hypocritical example to others. Who are we really? The child of God who praises the Lord or a worldly person masquerading as a child of God? What influences our words? We can be influenced by feelings or our current outlook on life. We can also be influenced by worldly or even devilish influences. On the positive side, we can be influenced by the Spirit of God. If so, fruits of the Spirit should be evident in how we speak and how we conduct ourselves.